Hello, I'm James Clark from the Department of Physiology at King's College London, and in this short tutorial I'm going to show you a way of breaking down your lecture into small chunks using the Kaltura chapter function. So let's suppose you've recorded your lecture and it's a long lecture and you want to break it down into smaller sections. Rather than editing the video into small sections of video, you can simply signpost parts of your lecture to your students and allow them to view them as chapters. And you can do this within Kaltura. Here's a 26 minute long video showing the introduction to a module for our master's program. If I click on it, I can view it all the way through and I can make notes of where in the video I wish to break it up. In order to signpost then these to your students, you need to scroll down, choose Actions and click on the Edit button. This will give you access to all the details of the video that you've uploaded. You could at this time edit any other information you want, but the key one we want to go to is at the end here called Timeline. When you click on Timeline, you'll see the video at the top of your screen, and underneath you will see a graphical representation of the timeline of your video, from 0.00, .00 at the start, and in this case up to 26 minutes at the end. You can insert chapter markers by simply clicking at the point in the timeline where you wish to insert the marker, clicking on the Create New Chapter button, and then filling in the details underneath. So for instance, I'm going to call this Module Content because that's what the slide's all about. I could put a description in here and I could also use comma separated tags just in case I want the students to be able to find it using search. But for the moment I'm not going to do this. Since I've entered Module Content and made sure it's correct, I can click on Save and you'll notice it adds a small tag to the timeline indicating that this is a chapter marker. Let's find another point to insert a chapter marker. There we are. This is a source of funding. I click on chapter marker and I can enter a description here as well. Once I've added in my details, yet again I click on save and you'll see that this chapter marker has also been added. I'm now going to find another marker point towards the end of this presentation and call this Summary. And save. Now I've added three markers to this presentation, one at the middle, one at the beginning, and one towards the end. Now it's all saved. I can leave this editing window and return back to the media on the published Keats page. Now we've navigated to the Keats page where this video is inserted in Moodle. If we click on the video itself, it'll take us to the page where the video has been shown and the video will load automatically. We've set this video not to autoplay, so it's just a static video at the moment and won't play until we click on the play button. But up here you can see this little navigation line, also known as a burger, and if you click on this, you will see here are the separate chapters that we previously inserted while editing the video. You can show or hide this navigation pane by clicking on the navigation button. This is a really good way of breaking up your lecture into small chunks and allowing students to view certain sections. If you found this tutorial useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel.